Uh, called Samia and Dua. Samia has been a part of the family in France. And she came to us when she was about a year and a half old. She takes from her brother Malai in 2012 to go to the two kittens. Uh, she's still living with her daughter Dua and her son, Uwebi, uh, living with Dad Malai next door. Um, we tend to go in with the girls on a daily basis. They just really seem to get a lot out of people interaction. They enjoy chasing after their food. And uh, just really good for us to be able to get close to them. Uh, we can give them spot-on treatments for uh, worm oil and things like that. Very uh, important for us to bear with the different types of worm oil we're using. Those of you that may not know why that is. Um, worms uh, in the gut can become um, very uh, tolerant to the medication. So we have to change our medication, our wormers, every year or so just to make sure they remain effective. So the more different drugs we can use, the more different products, and the more different ways we can treat them for that, the better. So for some of the tour, I'm coming up here today, just giving them a spot on treatment, a bit like we were doing for the domestic cat to man, all the better so that we can remain completely effective for them. Um, we don't have a massive problem with it, but it's something that every zoo would have to treat their animals for people who are not paying. Um, so we will do that to a minimum of two times a year as part of our keeping and helping the routine. As I was saying earlier, several cats in the wild are mainly comparatively more heat and therefore they have something more regularly in order to uh, stay warm and uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Um, we're up against the heat today. You can think of our cats are being a bit lazy. Um, yeah. That's because it's ever so ever so hot. You think about how warm you are and then times that by about 100, that's what the cats are feeling. So if they're not doing an awful lot, they're really and I'm grateful that she'll be joining us uh, just now for her trips. What the keepers are going to be doing, they're going to be going into the UK, bouncing into the back of the item, and they're going to show up when it's getting dark. The Asian legs are relatively common in um, Eastern Europe and Asia. Um, so the mink span is quite a large, it has quite a broad spectrum. They vary in living colour across the different continents, and they can link to the bug cuts cut grey in colour. Um, some people might say in Korea it's more similar to a fishing pair than oh, yeah, this tool. And um, so the new engine makes us a nice green, um, like, 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 like